One second, let me turn this fan off. Alright guys, we're back with another very, very special video. As you guys can see in the title down below, a little bit of a different one. So, I'm going to do a little bit of talking here first and foremost, guys, to give you guys kind of some details. First, we're going to go over like kind of hair care, which is very, very minimal. Then we're going to go over stuff like... Um, pretty much some tools you can use to get the hair nice and smooth you know looking looking nice and crispy and looking like a really nice clean lineup and we're gonna go over some like tips and tricks with tell your barber all this stuff guys so first and foremost uh let's get into it so right now guys i have kind of this buzz cut crop top going on uh, a little bit of both worlds so i've always loved the crop top look guys and if you guys know what the crop top look is it's going crazy in england it was going crazy in the states and pretty much is like one of the most popular hairstyles right now in 2022 Essentially, you have medium short to medium hair on the top kind of scruffled up um, or you can even cut you can even have it in more of like a smooth way and the sides are always kind of uh, cut down very very short so this is like almost this is a skin fade like a mid skin fade so you guys can see it doesn't go all the way up like very very much but this is a very high mid skin fade um, because a mid skin fade would usually go around here but this is more of a higher higher skin fade but it, it does have that mid skin fade because it's a little heavier up, up here um, if I want to go more for a high skin fade then up around here you would see more more skin and then it would be more like a high skin fade in that case it would just kind of go all the way straight around and it wouldn't have like that kind of thick transition that's going on on the sides over here but um, without further ado guys so when I kind of went to my barber, I showed a picture, and the picture will be here, and I kind of let him know because I always used to have a comb over. So I had this really, really thick gel comb over that I always used to do for like three years, and then I finally decided, I'm like, nah, man, there's got to be something that uses less gel, that suits my face and everything. So for my face, guys, this is another really, really important part about hairstyling and hair tips in general, guys. As you guys can see from my side, I do have like a nice, very, very nice jawline, and I do have like more of a more of a square face. So going down, it goes into my my, my face like that. If you have tend to have more of a rounder face, I would honestly kind of refrain from the short haircuts. I'll kind of give yourself a little bit of volume, you know lean more towards that even like longer hair too is really really cool um if you have more of a straight face like i do um the short haircuts look really really great on you too but pretty much it's a little more versatile as well too uh, more of the box face if you have more of a box face like it's a little more square and and, and not as rounded um i would also go with maybe longer hairstyles um, because you do have uh, uh, strong features as well too so with a box face you're gonna have usually really strong jaw lines and stuff like that so if you have hair that covers the top and kind of evens it out your jaw line is gonna extend it a lot more if you have more of a rounded face and you go with the longer hair the focus is going to be more on your eyes and on your eyebrows and around this area not as much as on the lower area because if you have just kind of a short haircut on the top like this there's a lot of emphasis on your face so um the people like kind of not hiding behind hair but but hair does complement people's faces a lot like i i know some people that look so different with really really short hair but then they look freaking amazing with long hair there's nothing wrong with with choosing different hairstyles to cater towards you because some are gonna look nicer like there's hairstyles that I've tried that don't look good on me and that's just that's just honestly what it is but I've tried a lot of hairstyles so you got to really find a hairstyle that works for you this personally in my opinion just works the best for me because it is very very short so as you guys can see on the top right there it's very smooth all the way through it just goes all the way straight so when I went to my barber, shout out my barber, Philip Doe. When I went to my barber, guys, I pretty much asked him for a mid skin fade, like to high skin fade. But I, I say I say mid to high skin, but I say more on the high side. I don't want it to be too high to where you guys can see right here. Right over here, it starts blending into the top part here. And then you have to go a little higher in the front. Um, I asked for like more of a mid skin fade and that kind of just like nice lineup and everything like that. He used the razor when he was going on the sides over here you guys can see he used the razor and then when he was cleaning up the front right here let me just get a little more a little more light when he was cleaning up the front right here he used a liner as well too as long as the razor to get rid of the little like uh kind of stray hairs but this is more of a scissor work so on the top of my on the top of my hair you guys can see right here on the top over here this was a lot of scissor work a lot of a lot of um taking out layers taking out the, the thickness of my hair and then also using a scissor to cut the overall length of the hair. Because mind you guys, if you don't do that, you're going to have this nice lineup. You can easily do this nice lineup because all you really have to do is cut your hair really short and get a lineup and have everything, you know, straight. 
but you're not gonna have like the evenness so for looking from the front of my face right now you guys can see there's an evenness so you guys can see the the lineup is here it goes down here and there's an evenness on my head you're gonna have more volume if you don't cut it shorter on the top so if you want to go more for the buzz cut looks i would say get thickness and shortness off the top taken off then you'll have a more full look if you want to go more for like the volume look 100 percent volume look is complimentary and it kind of does go from person to person if you want it to be thicker if you want it to be shorter me personally i like the shorter look my hair doesn't really move it's very easy to maintain very easily dry i go in the shower mush it up a little bit with with with, with towel and it's good to go i do blow dry it though because my hair is kind of wavy um i'm half spanish so i get that from my dad for sure my hair is kind of wavy so it does get pretty pretty thick and when i let it dry naturally it kind of moves and it has like these waves in my hair so i like having that nice smooth look there's also another option you guys do-rag so here's a do-rag that i have right now and then i have more of a, like this is more like a velour do-rag this is a lot heavier it's going to push your hair down a lot more this is a silk do-rag this is going to be a lot lighter on your hair and me i had a really really bad cow lick in this area so a lot of times i have to use these do-rags to kind of keep it down so it's all even and also this it, it doesn't just do that it also makes your hair very nice and, and pat it because it locks all the moisture in so my hair becomes very nice and, and padded down and it's not puffy it's very nice and flat which i like but it's very thick and, and coarse as well too so you're gonna want to get the best of both worlds there guys and when you put this do-rag on i put it on for about 10 15 minutes because you don't know, have like that spanish european style hair um Obviously, if you have thicker, more uh, more coarse hair, or you have thicker, more luscious hair, um, you can put it on for longer. Um, but for me, that's what I what I end up doing. And sometimes I'll put it on for too long because you end up getting waves. <laughs> and unless you got the beautiful melanin going on, uh, you don't want to have too many waves. But it, it is a very great way to take care of your hair as well too, and add some a little bit of uh, texture and uh, holding it down as well too, guys. Um, and yeah, going into pretty much the rest of the video, guys. Very very nice, clean, fresh summer stuff cut uh, really really great for the winter time too obviously the skin fades get a little bit cold but I really really love this haircut probably one of my favorite haircuts and easily a haircut that is very very timeless and doesn't go out of style let's get into some up close shots of my hair all around enough talking guys and let me know what you guys think down below like comment subscribe hit me up on Instagram at PT wow wow and yeah and I love you guys so much